One of my favorite things about this kind of weather is not only do you go outside and it just feels good, you get to turn the AC off, save a little bit of money while you're at it. And I think you can keep it off today, tomorrow, even for most of Monday. A clear cut line down 77 coming down from Charlotte and then straight down through Columbia where it is rainy to the east and it is dry to the west. So again, high winds, heavy rainfall and a few isolated tornadoes are our biggest threats. With so much damage caused from the tornado on Saturday night, there is a huge cleanup effort taking place here at North Central high school. Want to run outside today or do we want to hop on the treadmill? Uh, today's an outside day, definitely. And we had some nice weather yesterday. It was cloudy, but by the end of the day, we did get some nice pictures. Check out this rainbow over Columbia. A couple good downpours out there right now, right over Ashwood, headed through portions of Lee County and then a bit farther south in portions of southern Orangeburg County. Santee about to get one of those good downpours over near Utahville, Holly Hill. We're going to see some on and off showers for our morning. We typically classify matter under three different categories solids liquids and gases you're going to want to keep your umbrellas handy this weekend we are tracking the remnants of delta and some of that tropical moisture as it moves through our area this is my first time at the fair what is the best food what do i need to go and eat funnel cakes french fries the french fries and the strawberry lemonade for sure. all right funnel cakes french fries strawberry lemonade Let's go try it out. Do you have any Christmas shopping or any errands to do before the holiday? Yes, any last minute things you got to do, you are good to go. I want to show you the spaghetti plots. This is one thing that we use to track where this hurricane is going to go. Each one of these lines is a different computer model that is saying where it thinks the center of the storm is going to go. Storm surge watches and warnings also in place along the coast where those strong winds can push up some extra water along the seaboard where about two to five feet could be expected. As we head into summer, you're probably not not going to see any frost form on the ground anymore. You'll probably only see it in your kitchen. We've got an absolutely gorgeous afternoon out there. We've got sunny skies, temperatures in the 50s across the entire area. I would suggest getting outside, soaking up some of that sun before it gets rainy and before temperatures drop come Friday. 57 right now in Sumter, 56 Columbia, 58 degrees currently over in Aiken. High pressure's in control. That's why we're dry, but it is starting to move off into the Atlantic. So we're going to increase that southerly wind, increase the cloud cover, especially as we go into this evening and into tonight. And then this front is what's going to cause us all the problems for tomorrow. We're talking breezy conditions, heavy rainfall, and then a drop in temperatures. So very strong front with those showers. This is four o'clock when some of that heavier rain is going to push through our area. And then behind that, it dries out really quickly and temperatures are going to be in the 20s and 30s when you're waking up on Christmas morning. Check out Nashville up there at 19 degrees on Friday morning with a breeze feeling much colder than that. So we're warm. 64 your high today, 67 tomorrow ahead of that front, almost 10 degrees above normal. And then we plummet 44 on Friday morning, 49 for Saturday. So slowly gets better. We're back to the 50s as we look ahead to Sunday morning. Let's take a closer look at this again. No worries tonight. This model tries to paint an isolated shower. I think it's overdoing it. Just some increased cloud coverage overnight and into tomorrow morning. You could see some light sprinkles but nothing too heavy. It's when this main line comes in that we're going to see some of the heaviest rain. So here's three o'clock. You can see there the heaviest rain pushing into the Western Midlands, Newberry, Fairfield counties down into Saluda County and then pushing over to the east. So pushing through Columbia and the central Midlands around dinner time and then pushing off even further to the east by eight, nine o'clock. The heaviest stuff is out of here and we're drying things out. So by the time you're waking up Christmas morning, it's sunny, completely sunny. It's just really cold. The eastern half of our counties are under a marginal risk for severe weather in this green color here. It's a one out of five on the severe weather scale. The bigger severe weather threat is going to be in the far eastern portions of the state, including eastern North Carolina. Our concerns, high winds, that's going to be number one. Heavy rainfall also a concern. There's an isolated tornado threat very far east. I think that's farther east than our area, but I just wanted to let you guys know about that one as well. Winds really going to be our primary concern tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. This model shows gusts near 30 miles per hour. We're talking 30 to 40 plus mile per hour gusts as the front actually pushes through and then temperatures behind that. Again, they do plummet warm today, tomorrow, Christmas Day, 44 degrees by Saturday and Sunday. We're in the 20s in the mornings, climbing up to 49 on Saturday, 53 degrees on Sunday. We have another chance for rain come Monday, dry next Tuesday with a high of 57.